Hello, in next four sessions, we'll start discuss, we'll discuss about the kinetics of complex reactions. We'll discuss about opposing reaction, parallel reaction, consecutive reaction and chain reaction. First, we'll start with opposing reaction. Let's consider a general reaction where a reactant A is forming product B and suppose, let, let us assume that the reaction is reversible in nature and the forward rate constant is K1 and the, reverse, the backward rate constant is K-1. Initial state there and let's let further assume that it, at the initial state means at zero time there is no B means the concentration of B is zero and only A is there and the concentration of A is A zero and after some time when equilibrium is achieved the concentration of A is written as A and concentration of B is written as B. Suppose if, if I write the rate law expression in form of B then I, I, I can write DA over DT is equal to minus KAA minus k1 a plus k minus 1 b means a is deteriorating with respect to with respect to rate constant k a and a is forming with respect to rate constant k minus 1 so that's why k minus this is k minus 1 b is positive quantity and k1 a is negative quantity this is the rate law with respect to change in concentration of a similarly i can write the rate law with respect to change in concentration of B. So if I do that, B is forming with respect to K1 and B is de de deteriorating with respect to K minus 1. So K minus 1 term will be negative 1 and the K sorry K1 term will be positive 1. So I can write K1 A minus K minus 1 B. So these are the rate law expressions for A and B for this opposing reactions. Then we will assume that we have assumed that initially there was no B. So we can assume that the initial concentration of A0 is equal to the concentration of A after time t plus the concentration of B after time t. So with, with this expression I can replace my B as A0 minus A. I can replace my concentration of B as A0 minus A. So in the rate law expression of A I will substitute my B expression, the concentration of B as A0 minus A. So if I do that and rearrange, I will get A multiplied by K1 plus K minus 1 plus K minus 1 A0. This is simple rearrangement. So, so this is the differential expression, rate law expression in form of A. And I have get rid of B and uh, to get rid of B, I have taken help of A0 and a and I have further assumed that at the initial state that is at zero time there is no B only A only A was there. So in order to obtain concentration of A and B at any state of a reaction this is the differential form of expression differential rate law expression to obtain the concentration of A at any time t we have to integrate this differential form of expression. So what will be my integration limit I am considering the reactant A. So reactant A was present the, at zero time the reactant A was A0 so my starting limit will be A0 and after some time t the reactant has decreased from A0 to A and time limit will be 0 to t and further I have separated the variables I have taken time variable from left hand side to right hand side and concentration variable from right hand side to left hand side after doing the separation of variable I have applied the integration limits then if I integrate this expression there is a standard integral form to integrate it first we will see the LHS the left hand side of the integration the LHS the left hand side of the integration can be solved using a standard integral dx, dx over a plus bx is equal to 1 over b ln a plus bx. So our, our expression resembles with this kind of standard integral expression for in, in our case in our uh, differential expression a, a is minus k minus 1 a0 and b is k1 plus k minus 1 for our case a and b are these two things. So if I substitute our A and B values in the standard integral form then I will get left hand side expression something like this and when I apply the limits the, uh, the starting limit and the end limit and I subtract from the final limit to initial limit I will get an expression like this and in the RHS side the integration becomes T. RHS side the integration becomes T. So I have rearranged the LHS side and RHS side. So again this is a simple rearrangement uh, we, uh, this can be followed from the previous step so 
if I go further, I can obtain an expression for A. A is the concentration of reactant after time T. These are all simple steps, elementary steps that can be followed carefully. So, my A, the expression for A after time T is given as equation 1. If I do the same exercise for the product B, I can also reach, I can also derive an expression for B. Uh, which looks like the second expression of equation 1. Now suppose uh, uh, consider a case where time is infinite means after some time uh, what happening what is happening in our opposing reaction A is forming B again B is forming A. So there is an equilibrium after some time there will exist an equilibrium between A and B. So what, what will ha happen at the infinite time limit. So when time tends to infinite what will happen this e to the power minus infinite means this this quantity the, this, this numerator quantity will be very very less uh, we can ignore this uh, numerator quantity so i'll be left my equation one can be simplified as equation two this is that uh, condition when time is infinite means when there is infinite time it is assumed that the uh, the reaction must have attained equilibrium because since a and b are in dynamic equilibrium with each other after certain uh, finite amount of time they must be in equilibrium state so when they, they are in equilibrium state when a and b are in, in dynamic equilibrium state there will be no formation further deterioration of a and there will be no further formation of b means after the achievement of the equilibrium state uh, a will not be decreasing and b will not be forming so in that case or at equilibrium state i can say d concentration of a equilibrium over dt or concentration of change in concentration of b at equilibrium state with respect to time is equal to zero i can uh, further i am repeating at equilibrium state i can say that the equilibrium concentration of a and equilibrium concentration of b is change in equilibrium concentrations of the respective species are zero with respect to time means they are not changing with respect to time and they remain constant so under such condition at equilibrium condition if i apply the rate law for a for uh, da over dt the rate law expression can be written as minus k a plus k minus 1 b so but since we are dealing with the equilibrium state for the concentration terms i have maintained mentioned equilibrium now if i this uh, th so i can also rearrange and write k1 over k minus 1 is equal to b equilibrium over a equilibrium is equal to kc this capital kc is the equilibrium constant we will understand the reaction in a pictorial manner or graphical manner suppose the same reaction a is forming b but the rate constants are different now instead of k1 and k minus 1 i am depicting as ka and kb so what will happen initially there was no b as we have assumed the initial concentration of b is zero so b starts forming from a b is starting form started uh, starting form forming from a and a is decreasing with respect to time so after some time uh, after some time t equilibrium or equilibrium time they will attain a state of equilibrium means after that equilibrium time there will be no formation of b and there will be no decrease in concentration of a further the decay in a the decay in reactant concentration follows fast order kinetics and from fast order rate law expression we have obtained that and the decay can be written as a0 e to the power minus ka plus kb this this express this uh, decay, uh, decay law expression we have already discussed in fast order kinetics uh, expression so we will we will discuss this uh, kinetics in an alternate method also to determine what is the value of rate constant k1 the forward rate constant k1 we'll, we can uh, derive the rate uh, this kinetics in an alternate method this is again an alternate method and an optional method so uh, the same reaction a forming b and initial concentration of a is a and initial concentration of b is zero after some time it is a minus x and the concentration of b is x so i can uh, i can uh, uh, i can write a rate law expression with respect to b that that is the product so dx over dt dx x is what the product concentration dx over dt is equal to k1 a minus x 
k1 is the forward rate constant so it is forming that's why positive quantity k1 a minus x a minus x is concentration of a after some time t minus k minus 1 x means it is deteriorating again b the product is deteriorating with respect to k minus 1 that's why there is a minus sign minus k minus 1 and what is the product concentration x that's why k minus 1 x so this is the rate law expression for product formation after some time t at equilibrium further at equilibrium the product concentration will not change suppose uh, Suppose the product concentration at equilibrium is x, so x will not change. So I can write dx over dt is equal to 0. Further, it seems to demarcate the equilibrium state, I will write a subscri subscript e. That's why the concentration is written as x is equal to xc. So what happens at equilibrium? At, sub at equilibrium, I can write k, 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 k1 a minus xc is equal to k minus 1 xc. So that's what I have written here then i will rearrange and obtain an expression in terms of k minus 1 then again i will substitute the expression for k minus 1 in my rate law expression for product formation rate law expression for product formation is given as dx over dt is equal to k1 a minus x minus k minus 1 x instead of k minus 1 i will substitute the this obtained expression and i will rearrange to get a expression for product formation then i'll separate the variables i'll take the concentration variables to the left hand side and time variables to the right hand side again i'll integrate why i'm integrate uh, integrating i'm integrating to find out the product concentration at certain time t of the reaction so if i integrate i'll find a integrator integration constant and the integration to find the value of integration constant i can substitute a time is equal to zero x is equal to zero so my integration constant will have certain value i'll again resubstitute that integ integration constant and i eventually i'll get an expression for k1 what is k1 k1 is the forward rate constant for the opposing reaction the uh, k1 is given as equation Four. Now suppose initially we have uh, while obtaining this equation 4 or expression for k1 we have assumed that initially there was no b but suppose uh, there can be a situation when there is initially some amount of b is there b means the product means at the starting state of the reaction suppose there is a small amount of b is already present and that amount is suppose b moles small b moles of b is already present in the reaction system then in that such in such a case the uh, expression for k1 that is the forward rate constant can be modified as in form of equation 5 so with this i'll stop here next session we'll discuss parallel reaction